Hey guys, welcome to another video. You wanna hear a joke? Which side of the duck has the most feathers? The outside! Last week I made a cardioid out of copper wire. Check it out in the card up there. But I wasn't really satisfied with the final result of that project. So I wanted to make another one that was bigger, more intricate, and a little bit different from what I've seen other people do online. So this time we started with a much larger piece of plywood and also we're going to change the shape up a little bit. I was curious to see how changing it to an ellipse would affect the pattern. My kids love to help out so we got it all painted together and then everybody got a hammer and we went crazy putting about 250 nails all over this thing. And I came to the very end and I was six nails short. Ugh. Luckily, I'd remembered that the box had broken in the trunk on the way home from the store, so I ran out to the car and I found exactly six more nails. Whew! In the clear. Then it was on to threading everything together. I started out with a 300 yard spool of common polyester thread from Walmart and followed the same pattern as before. Every nail on one side and every other nail on the other side. So that's the orange one done, but here, let me show you the setup that I've got going on here. So I hung the spool from my camera reel with some wire. Super simple, but look how much thread is left. It's barely a few layers of string. I guess my math was spot on. This is the same tool I used on the wire one, but thread does not take nearly as much force for it to do what you want, so I took the handle off. I also sanded off the end of the needle so I didn't accidentally cut the thread. So that's the orange one done, but this is only the accent color. I'm gonna do four more on top of that. Okay, little hiccup, no problem. The thread keeps wanting to wander off and jump off the spool and wrap around the wire. So to fix that, I bent up a little guy just like what they have on sewing machines so the thread stays in line with the spool. It makes things much easier and it adds just a little bit of tension to the thread, which is a bonus. That shiny little dot right there is a magnet. It was getting increasingly difficult to tell where I had been, so I used two small little magnets to mark both ends of the string, and I would just move them along as I went to keep track of everything, and that worked out great. Oh my gosh, there is a mistake. Do so you see these lines? These are not supposed to be here. I skipped some nails. I can't believe I made a mistake. This cannot stand. It's not that big a deal. It is a big deal. I'm gonna burn it. No one's even gonna notice. I'll yeah. oh, know. I'm getting the lighter. <sighs> no, you won't. I will. I'll totally burn it. <sighs> You're right. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't do that. Don't you do it.